do you fly your climbs and descents? Do you have an autopilot in your airplane? Do you have a standard profile, climb profile that you like to use? Today at Fly on Flywire we're going to explore the climb and descent a little bit in this A36 Bonanza. Okay, today in the Bonanza what we're going to do is we're going to do a climb and then later on we're going to do a descent and what I'm going to do is uh, we have a KFC 200 autopilot in this Bonanza and I've got, uh, full disclosure, I've got an Aspen, dual Aspen system with uh, the doofers that are, we little boxes that can uh, uh, talk to, for the Aspen to talk to the, uh, <laughs> to the autopilot because it's an analog autopilot. But it also has a thing in there to do pre altitude pre-select, which is way cool. It's something we had in airlines and junk like that. High-end stuff has altitude pre-select. So I'm going to do an altitude, or I'm going to climb and descent using the autopilot with altitude pre-select. And we'll take a look at that. And uh, so stick with us on Flywire. Uh, it won't be too long. In the interest of brevity, I'm not going to show the entire climb and descent, only the highlights. The first one, of course, is we uh, set it the altitude in the Aspen window, and then we hit the pre-select button. If the autopilot's engaged, off it goes. So here we're coming, we've got about a thousand feet to go. I'm going to level off at 8,500 and uh, avoiding some clouds here so we're not heading direct to our destination. We just got to get, a, get to avoid some low level clouds. And one other thing I do in the climb is uh, I continually lean uh, the mixture to uh, keep it about 1300 EGT. That's the best mixture for, uh, approximates the best mixture for density altitude, whatever the density altitude happens to be. So that's my climb profile. And if you look real close, you see I'm down to about 21 gallons per hour at this altitude. So passing 8,000 feet, Got a few to go. I'm going to go ahead and I'm hitting GPS. I don't have to worry so much about the clouds now. So uh, we'll head on course. And what you'll see on the Aspen is it'll alert us before we get to the altitude. And put a yellow box around the 8500 there up in the upper right, the altitude tape. And uh, then that'll serve to alert the uh, um, pre select box. About in a second or two, we're going to see that in here. Okay, then uh, um, we're at 100 feet. Then once we hit the actual altitude, the pre-select box then selects altitude on the autopilot. And there we go. There's the little box, and the altitude selects. And yeah, I didn't get the camera angle quite right, but we'll get it better. There we go. And uh, then. Um, once the altitude is selected, then uh, that's what it flies. So here we're getting ready to do the descent. And, uh, I've already set the uh, new altitude in it, and I deselect altitude on the autopilot, and then you saw me select the uh, pre-select uh, the button for to arm the uh, altitude there. And we descend, and now we're approaching to the descent point. I've actually uh, Modified that because now we're going to go do the, the straight in uh, to work to one kilo one. And I'm going to disconnect the autopilot here fairly soon. Oh, no, what I'm going to do first is, I forgot, is uh, I'm going to uh, set up the course to align with the runway. I'm going to do a straight in. And I'll set the uh, heading and uh, then I'm going to engage re-engage GPS and it'll engage, it intercept that course line. I'm Got OBS selected on the 750, and it'll intersect the intercept the course line, and uh, then line me up with the runway. Again, this is all on autopilot. There's 2400, and we're gonna actually we're getting pretty close, so I'm gonna go ahead and descend here in a minute. Um, getting pretty close to the runway, so I'm gonna get down to pattern altitude, but. So we're letting the autopilot do it, do the lining us up. Uh, it did all the, the descent work and all that for us, and that's pretty cool. And here we are lined up on the runway. Um, you can hand fly it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with hand flying it. It's 
nothing wrong with letting the autopilot do it. So just need to be in practice on both. It's a little bit bumpy today. It's a beautiful day up here in Kansas, but uh, it's, uh, it's getting warm and uh, there's some thermals, uh, thermaling going on here up in Miram. And uh, right into the north at uh, Stearman Field, this is Lloyd Stearman Field, just to the northeast of uh, Wichita, Kansas. Pretty cool little airport, mostly a kind of a private air park. Uh, I believe the airport itself is owned by one individual, and uh, all these hangars and houses and stuff are owned by other folks. There's the landing. I'm going to roll out. I'm going to go all the way down to the, uh, there's a little restaurant called Sturman Field Restaurant, and uh, that's down at the end on the right. I'm going to go down there and park. There it is coming up, and uh, I think I'll grab a soda because it's nice and hot. Field truck's a little bit of a complication. Let's we'll see what he's going to do. That's a private hangar right there in front of me. It looks like the FBO, but it's not. The uh, Stearman Field is that gray roofed uh, building right there, and they serve food, lunch, and dinner. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting something to eat and uh, getting something to drink here. It's about lunchtime, and it's been a hot flight. Well, I made it to Sturman Field. Just had a little over two hours. Pretty cool. They got this restaurant on the field. That's uh, pretty nice. Of course, it's the place is based out, named after Lloyd Sturman, who designed the Sturman, the cadet. <clears throat> so you can see, it's pretty cool. It's uh, the left cowling door off of a Sturman nose. It's got a big ass fan. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And then you just park right up here. There's a Bonanza sitting right out there. Pretty cool. Heck of a lot better than driving. So there you had uh, the climb and descent profile. He's in the autopilot and altitude pre-select pre um, for the A36 Bonanza. Works really well. Um, I'm really a fan of, uh, uh, well, it takes a, it relieves a lot of the workload for climbing, but for descent too, it's kind of like a floor protection thing so you don't undershoot. Uh, your altitude in, with distractions or anything, descending into the traffic pattern. So, but it's uh, it's not hand flying, it's using the autopilot. Uh, and I'll explain the techniques that I use along the way. I explain the techniques that I use along the way. That's my technique, you can, yours is different. And uh, if you have a different technique that works real well for you, leave me a comment, I'd like to hear about it. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. And if you liked it, subscribe. If you want to hit the, or get notifications of the next one, next video out, hit the bell. But I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time on Flower.